All right, what's up, Gabby J fam? I've been getting a lot of requests to continue doing vlogs about my CRPS and living with CRPS and just basically everything having to do with CRPS, which I think is really awesome that so many people care that much, honestly. The main questions I keep getting asked lately are, you know, how have you been able to overcome CRPS and still dance and be without pain and all these kinds of questions. I've also been getting really rude remarks from people on social media that don't really know much about CRPS that basically ask me how are you dancing like you're obviously not in pain if you can dance like this stuff like that so I just wanted to make this vlog basically an opportunity to take the time and talk about CRPS how people are still able to function and live their lives and do anything they want so yeah here we go all right what's up Gabby J fam it's been a really, really long time since I made a vlog, especially a vlog sitting down and talking about anything, so that's what I wanted to do today. Um, so, I've been getting a lot of requests to continue doing vlogs about my CRPS and living with CRPS and just basically everything having to do with CRPS, which I think is really awesome that so many people care that much, honestly. Um, but the main questions I keep getting asked lately are, you know, how have you been able to overcome CRPS and still dance and be without pain and all these kinds of questions. Um, I've also been getting really rude remarks from people on social media that don't really know much about CRPS that basically ask me, how are you dancing? Like, you're obviously not in pain if you can dance like this. Stuff like that. So I just wanted to make this vlog basically an opportunity to take the time and talk about CRPS, how people are still able to function and live their lives and do anything they want. So yeah, here we go. Okay, so um, I'm not going to get like too into like my story of how I got CRPS. There's tons of interviews I've done and other videos. I did a video with Red Bull where I briefly talked about it. So there's stories out there. I've had them posted on my Instagram and everything else, um, but I'll get into like a basic story of it. So basically what happened was is I was on tour when I was about um, 20 years old, 19. I just turned 20, I think. Actually, I think I was still 19. Sorry. <laughs> I don't know me my brain hurts but anyways I was on tour with the dance convention and we were at our nationals um I did a dance move wrong in rehearsal I heard a crack in my foot and it was so painful I've had many injuries in my dance career and nothing really felt like that it was horrifying I literally couldn't even stand without being in excruciating pain so yeah it was rough right I ended up finding the right doctors who diagnosed me with the correct thing and I was able to start getting treatment so, that being said, CRPS is a very, very tricky disorder. Um, some days you will be in very minimal pain. I don't want to say no pain because I don't even think I've ever had a day where I'm not in any pain. So some days you'll be in very, very minimal pain to the point where it doesn't really bother you that much. You know, it's just kind of like little dull pains here and there. Um, and then other days you're in so much pain it's hard for you to even walk or get out of bed or put pressure on your foot. And so that's kind of where the problem in lies. People don't really understand that, so they kind of think you're just faking it or using pain as a way to get clout or whatever, but that is definitely not the case. For me, a lot of people constantly ask me, how are you still dancing? How are you still able to do what you love? And the answer is, I still have pain. You know, people think that I have no pain at all while I'm dancing or after I'm done dancing or whatever. That's not true. I have pain all of the time now is it like the pain that I had when I was first diagnosed and I couldn't walk or shower or do any of those things definitely not and I'm very thankful for that but it's still really really bad pain when it does hit I go to a lot of festivals and I dance obviously so my job requires me to be on my feet a lot and there has been so many times at the end of festivals where I am in so much pain that I literally have to be like piggybacked out of the festival like to my car to the uber wherever and my foot is usually discolored and swollen and then I have to go immediately straight to my hotel or wherever I'm staying and I put my foot in hot water in the bathtub I do that for like an hour and a half and I just sit there until my foot calms down I get out of the bathtub I have to sit there for another 30 minutes rubbing it until the inflammation calms down then after that I have to sit there rubbing different textures on it um that helps a lot I don't know what your doctors tell you if you do have CRPS but that was one thing my doctor recommended was rubbing things with different textures on it um, on the affected area and actually really helps me a lot so 
I don't just get to go to festivals or dance or do any of these things without pain. There is definitely pain in my life still. So if you have CRPS and you're still experiencing pain when you're trying to do what you love, don't get discouraged. Don't get frustrated. It's normal. And for the people that are constantly asking me, you know, how are you doing this? You must not have pain if you're able to dance. Well, there's your answer right there. Again, some days the pain is excruciating to the point where I... I had a day yesterday where um, I was in so much pain from CRPS, I literally just stayed in bed all day and took care of my injuries, you know? I couldn't get up and do all the things I had scheduled. I had a whole day scheduled. And that's the unfortunate part. Some days you literally have to just X your whole plan for the day and just um, care to your CRPS. So there's a lot more that goes into it than people really realize and people really think. Another thing I get asked a lot is what treatments do I do for my CRPS? So everyone has a different way of treating this and they all believe in different things and all that good stuff which is what makes this world such a great place. Everyone is so diverse. But for me, I don't have a problem with taking medication, so I'm on medication for it. I take quite a few pills and vitamins a day to help keep the pain down. And I literally cannot express enough, it's life changing. So if you're not one of those people that's really into like the natural holistic way, I highly, highly, highly recommend getting on some medication. The only problem with that is, is I don't recommend it you know, long term, and that's a problem I'm running into now. It's been almost four years since I've been diagnosed, and I've been on this medication for a while, you know, so, and when I run out, if I'm out, you know, for even one day, my body does not react well. So that's always the other scary downside of it. So, you know, there is upsides and downsides to both ways, and that happens to be the downside for the way of taking pills and all that stuff. So yeah, um, but for me, when I was first diagnosed, I was put on gabapentin, so I take gabapentin three times a day, and then I take amitriptylene at, uh, <laughs> I take amitriptyline at night, um, and that helps too, and then also I take B12 and vitamin C, and uh, there's something else I'm forgetting. I think those are the main ones though. And then I also use lidocaine numbing gel, which is life-changing i cannot express that enough that lidocaine numbing gel saves my day like so many times a day <laughs> so yeah those are the main things i use to get my crps under control on top of that i can't express enough how important it is to make sure you're constantly soaking it in hot water or some people use a heating pad you can wrap that around whatever area is affected it also really depends on what area of your body is affected um, for me, it's in both my feet and my left hand, so it's kind of easy for me to wrap a heating pad around whatever's hurting. Um, but yeah, so I always recommend making sure you have heat around it a good part of the day. Or for me, after a long day of dancing and rehearsing, I always make sure I come home and put some kind of heat on the affected areas just so they can have some love, you know, and really heal the way they need to heal after a long day of using them. And the biggest thing also is to stay positive. I get a lot of DMs constantly asking me, you know, how I make it through each week or each day even, you know, with having the disorder and having the pain and knowing that I can't do things the way I used to. And the answer is, I don't know, you know, it's hard. There's not a definitive answer for me because Every day I do something different to cope with it, honestly. Some days I have to get out of the house, other days I have to listen to my favorite song. Sometimes I just have to sit there and remind myself that I'm lucky, that it's not worse. So it just depends on who you are as a person. And then on top of that, I have to constantly be rubbing them. So that's the other thing is um, I've noticed that they tend to break out in flashes of pain if I'm not consistent with rubbing the affected areas a lot. And if you have other people in your life, a mom, dad, boyfriend, girlfriend, sister, brother, cousin, dog that could somehow massage because he's the shit, um, yeah, go ahead and ask them for help. Have them help rub your stuff too. That sounded weird. Rub your affected area. There you go. <laughs> Yeah, but that's really the main things I do every single day to help keep my CRPS under control. And again, I do have pain. Most anyone I've ever talked to with CRPS wakes up every single day in some kind of pain or they go through their day and experience some kind of pain. You know, there's never really a day where 
it's just pain free it's definitely still pain and if you don't have CRPS and you don't know what it's like and you don't know anything about it then please stop judging people you don't know anyone else's pain you don't know it especially if you've never experienced it and even if you have experienced it everyone experiences pain differently so you should never be judging someone and you should never ever ever be comparing suffering because there's no point in that and it's going to get you nowhere crps is an extremely painful disorder and it's very very hard to control it's very hard to tame very hard to keep track of because it's so all over the place every single day so cut us a break give us some love and understand that it's really not easy to deal with if you see someone still doing their thing with crps they deserve to be applauded because it is not an easy thing to live with I hope that I can answer some of your questions that you guys have been sending me in DMs today. I'm trying to think if I missed anything. I don't think I did, but again, you guys, just a recap. <laughs> if you are experiencing CRPS and you want to get back to the things you love, just know that you can. You're probably still going to have pain every day just like I do and like most everyone I know that has CRPS does, but you can get back to the things you love. You just have to believe in yourself and take it day by day, baby steps. Like for me to get back to dance took almost a year and a half. I didn't just like wake up after they cleared me to dance and was able to dance again. It took a really long time. It took baby steps. It took little bits of practicing here and there and then TLC for my feet after. But you know, I got there finally. So don't be frustrated and don't be impatient. Take your time and know that it will happen. I promise. Vlog, vlog, vlog. Gabby's vlog. Ding.